Oh, it's weird where I can't wrap my head around is. Why are we always, no matter how old we are, have certain expectations, be they bad or good, from life that we uh, imagine in our heads how our future will be, be it good or bad, how our life will look like. The older you get, the more you realize that nothing was exactly as you imagined it before it happened. So if you were a young guy, let's say you were 10 years old, you imagined how life would be when you were 16. I actually did that. I was one of these 10, 10 year olds who was thinking, wow, when I'm 16 years old, I'm a big dude and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and nothing what I had in mind was actually happening in exactly that way. And then when you go further, when you think about how it will be when you are over 20 as a 16 year old, once you are over 20 years old, you think, oh Jesus, and I'm a grown up, I'm, a <laughs> I'm an adult then. And you aren't, <laughs> if you are lucky, if you are lucky. Then again, once you reach that, you will see. And also if you pass that, if you pass that age, you will see nothing was in the way you imagined it. Why are we still imagining things? When you are... Uh, the same is true when you are thinking about your 50s, for example, when you are in your early 30s or mid 30s, you think, oh, I'm old. Yeah, sometimes I felt old when I was 19. I, I know it's, uh, it's very stupid, it's very, very weird, but it was, it was what it was. So in some way, nothing in my entire life turned out to be the way that I imagined it earlier. So why for fuck's sake am I still imagining things, how they will turn out, how they will uh, be? They always turned out different. There were things positively that I didn't expect. There were negative things that I didn't expect. There was so much different things, everything was different. Everything was, yeah, it, nothing was in any way precisely as I imagined that it would be. And I think that is true for 100% of you as well. So why are we doing this? Why are we painting these pictures in our head? Thinking about what will happen, how it will happen. I totally have no clue. But yet here we are and we'll proceed with that. We are going further with that. <laughs> it's always the same, same old, same old. I think we need a certain blueprint or we have a certain blueprint that we, we, yeah, we can't go without any expectations. That's just not how we are, how we are made. And I think also that because we are a species that is big on pattern recognition, we analyze the current state of things and then we want to be able to predict chance of certain outcomes of actions that we do. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot to it. There are the possibilities to it that we are accurate, but we will never have the precise outcome. We will never exactly know what comes, how it comes, the feeling that we have when it comes. 
we will never know. But on the other hand, that's probably exactly the thing what makes life interesting, at least. Even though it can be pretty boring at times. So I'm, I'm curious about your thoughts on that. Just let me know in the comments. And by, and by the way, I believe it's uh, above the 70 videos I made now. Didn't really check uh, stats. I don't know if anybody is giving a darn. But <laughs> I know for sure that it would really help if you want to subscribe. It really would, would help out for the algorithm to find people who also like that stuff, what you like. So yeah, you would help me with that. I'm not holding a gun to your breast, but still. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.